Each of us is a warrior facing endless storms amid the chaos and challenges. Have you ever stopped to ask yourself, is there any fortress strong enough to withstand this storm? The answer lies within the ancient pages of Stoicism, a lighthouse shining through the darkest nights, a secret that helps us not only overcome difficulties, but also transform them into a launchpad towards the pinnacle of self-control and patience. Today's video will open a new horizon with 10 valuable lessons from Stoicism teachings from ancient times that, when applied, will transform all difficulties and pain into opportunities to refine our souls and spirits. We will learn to embrace challenges with courage and accept each tear as a precious gem on the path to self-improvement. Join me on the journey to discover the art of living resiliently and bravely in the face of life's storms. Don't just be a passerby but be ready to receive and apply these lessons to your daily life. As usual, I pose a small challenge for you. Be patient and watch this entire video, embracing each lesson as seeds that you will sow into your soul. After all, you are the leader of your own life, and the secret to conquering and triumphing over all storms is calmness, steadfastness, and relentless perseverance. Let's explore the key to unlocking a world of peace, happiness, and inner strength together. Lesson number one, accept what you cannot change. You cannot change worrying about things you cannot change will not bring you peace. Anger or bitterness about things you cannot change will not bring you peace. Feeling guilty about things you cannot change will also not bring you peace. In the vastness of life, with its countless events and challenges, there is only one thing that can truly bring you peace, accepting what cannot be changed. At the heart of Stoic philosophy, we find a noble truth. Strength does not lie in controlling everything around us, but in controlling how we receive and respond to them. This acceptance does not mean surrender but a strong decision. It's a conscious step to give up the unnecessary battle with the unattainable and focus on nurturing inner strength and peace. We often struggle with the ghosts of worry, anger, and guilt. Emotions we use to face realities that don't go our way. But Stoicism teaches that when we learn to recognize and accept them as part of the natural flow of life, we begin to free ourselves from those mental shackles. Acceptance brings liberation opening space for focusing on what truly matters and is meaningful in life, mastering emotional control. A key element of acceptance is not about denying or repressing emotions. It's about recognizing, welcoming, and transforming them healthily. As you learn to face your emotions, you not only develop mental strength, but also find tranquility and peace in your soul. And in this acceptance, another great power is unleashed. The ability to find meaning and value in every experience, even the most painful ones. Stoic philosophy teaches us not just how to survive through storms, but how to grow and flourish from those difficulties. As Marcus Aurelius delicately expressed in his words, accept the things to which fate binds you and love the people with whom fate brings you together, but do so with all your heart. Lesson number two, transform challenges into opportunities. The obstruction to action promotes action. We should turn every challenge into an opportunity, not just as a source of inspiration, but also as a means for us to face and overcome difficulties with courage and perseverance. This encourages us not only to stand firm in the face of difficulties, but also to actively seek out lessons and opportunities in each chapter, challenging situations step by step, challenge by challenge, one at a time we are reminded of the strength within us. Marcus Aurelius, a Roman emperor and also a famous Stoic philosopher, once said, the impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. This statement emphasizes the application of positive thinking and leveraging every situation as an opportunity for growth. When faced with a challenge, the first thing we should do is ask ourselves, what is the lesson here and how can I use this situation to grow? The answers to these questions not only pave a new path for personal and professional development, but also help us continue moving forward with determination and clear purpose. Stoicism does not deny suffering but encourages us to accept it and turn it into motivation for change. 
Suffering challenges our mental strength and provides an opportunity for us to surpass our limits, opening new doors of understanding and insight. Moreover, turning challenges into opportunities requires patience, perseverance, and resilience. Mental strength comes not only from resisting, but also from the ability to be flexible, adapt, and grow from each experience. As we learn to perceive and use each challenge as an opportunity, we not only build mental strength, but also create a meaningful and purposeful life. This is the essence of Stoicism, living a life not just to exist, but to live passionately, steadfastly, and in pursuit of one's profound life philosophy. If you have gained valuable knowledge from this second lesson, please leave a comment, turn challenges into opportunities below the comment section of this video. Lesson number three, mastering your perspective. Let's delve into the story of a baker who faces pressure and challenges every day. Ingredients may not arrive on time. Customers might be dissatisfied or machinery could break down. In one instance, a critical ingredient delivery was delayed, disrupting that day's production plans. Instead of succumbing to anger and disappointment, the baker decided to view the situation from a different perspective. This was an opportunity to be creative with the available ingredients and experiment with new recipes. This decision not only helped alleviate stress, but also led to a new product that customers loved. This story illustrates that by controlling how we perceive events, we have the power to turn troubles into opportunities and negatives into positives. Mastering your perspective is not just a lesson in acceptance. It's a life strategy through which we learn to see challenges not as obstacles but as lessons and opportunities for growth. To apply this principle to everyday life, start by asking yourself whenever you face difficulties, what can I learn from this and how can I turn this into an opportunity? By applying lessons from Stoicism, we not only maintain our mental strength but can also steer our lives towards a more positive and meaningful direction. In every difficulty, remember that you have the choice of how you view and respond to it, and that's what makes you strong. Practice this daily, even in the smallest situations. When you master your perspective, you not only face challenges bravely, but also find deeper meaning and satisfaction in life. Remember, as Marcus Aurelius wisely emphasized, our perspectives can change, and we have the power to shape them to our benefit. Lesson number four, practice detachment. At the heart of Stoic philosophy, practicing detachment plays an indispensable role. Detachment does not mean isolating from the world or being indifferent to what happens around us. Instead, it's about learning to accept everything without letting ourselves be swept away by negative emotions or over-dependence on things that are not truly necessary for our inner happiness. Are you a nature lover, fond of plants and gardening? You spend a lot of time and effort caring for a special houseplant, from watering it correctly to protecting it from pests and diseases. However, one day, despite all your efforts, the plant dies. This is a heartbreaking experience. But through the lens of Stoicism, we learn that while caring for the plant is important, being overly attached to the outcome, the plant's survival, can lead to unnecessary suffering. Detachment not only helps us remain steadfast in the face of loss, but also allows us to appreciate the process, learn from it, and move forward without carrying a mental burden. Detachment is not about ignoring emotions or avoiding responsibilities. It's about recognizing and accepting that some events are beyond our control. We learn not to let our happiness depend on external things, whether material objects, others' opinions, or anything that is not ourselves. Practicing detachment requires deep understanding and patience, but it brings us true mental freedom. When we are no longer bound by unnecessary desires and expectations, we open up space for peace, focus on what truly matters, and have the ability to face any challenge calmly and rationally. Remember, the goal of practicing detachment is not to become indifferent to the world around us, but to learn to love and live fully without letting ourselves be dominated by things that don't matter. Are you ready for lesson number four? Leave a comment, I'm ready to practice detachment below this video. Lesson number five, embrace the now. 
We might not feel satisfied with what we have in the present and dream of something far removed from reality. But there will come a time when looking back, we realize how fortunate we currently are. Being content with our present life, we suddenly find ourselves feeling happy and optimistic. Knowing how to appreciate means we also learn to accept and cherish what we have and accept what we look reflecting on living in the present. Marcus Aurelius once said, Do not act as if you are going to live 10,000 years. Death hangs over you while you live. While it is in your power, be good. Here we encounter the first truth. Our control over time is an illusion. We worry about past mistakes and future uncertainties, but the past cannot be changed and the future cannot be predicted. The only realm where we truly have power is the present. Embracing the present means acknowledging this limit and turning it into strength. Imagine the present moment as a sanctuary. Beyond its borders, the storm of life rages. Regret for the past and worry for the future blend in a storm of distraction. But inside, there is peace, clarity, and the opportunity to act. Embracing the present is seeking the shelter, fully engaging in the task at hand, whether it's a conversation, a piece of work, or a moment of reflection. It is in these moments that life truly unfolds, offering a path to inner peace and strength to withstand life's storms. Embracing the present is not an escape from life's challenges, but a strategy to face them with clarity, purpose, and mental strength. Practicing living in the present stoically empowers us by appreciating and utilizing the only time we truly have, this very moment. In this way, we build a meaningful life not through the grandeur of achievements, but through the depth of engagement with the world, one moment at a time. We have explored the first five lessons in our journey to maintain mental strength through Stoic philosophy. Each step we take is not just a challenge, but also an opportunity for self-improvement. Before we continue with the next five lessons, I want to take a moment to express my deep gratitude to all of you who have accompanied us to this point. Your support and encouragement are the great motivators that enable us to continue producing valuable content, helping us grow together. If you find the lessons we share helpful, please like and share this video with your loved ones and friends. Your sharing and support are precious sources of inspiration that help us continue to convey this profound philosophy of life. Now let's proceed to the next part of our journey, where we will explore more about the strength and beauty of maintaining mental strength under all circumstances. Lesson number six, nurture inner tranquility. Inner peace is something many people desire, but not everyone can achieve. Inner peace not only makes us feel comfortable and happy, but also helps us face the difficulties and challenges in life. However, how do we seek inner peace? The key lies in accepting the truth that not every event or situation we encounter can be controlled. True peace stems from this acceptance, making our souls lighter and no longer burdened with anxiety about things we cannot change. This does not mean we surrender to circumstances, but is a wise choice to prevent our minds from being disturbed by things beyond our control. Moreover, peace is nurtured by living sincerely and being mindful in every moment. As we learn to observe and welcome each moment without setting expectations or imposing personal intentions, we begin to realize the beauty of existence. This practice not only soothes the soul, but also opens the door to receiving experiences, emotions, and lessons that life offers each day. The process of cultivating inner peace also requires freedom from desires. This freedom is not the ability to fulfill every wish, but the ability to free oneself from the entanglement of those desires. When we are no longer bound by desires, we can experience peace and happiness in the soul even in the most difficult circumstances. Finally, deeply connecting with nature and practicing patience are other important factors in nurturing peace. Nature is not only an endless source of inspiration, but also a place where we can learn about acceptance, change, and the power of patience. By absorbing these lessons, our souls become resilient and supple, ready to face any challenge that life throws at us. In summary, inner peace is not something we seek out there, but something we build from within through acceptance, mindfulness, freedom from desires, connection with nature, 
and patience. It is an endless journey, a daily cultivation process, but it is the path to true peace and happiness in life. Lesson number seven, practice gratitude. In the field of psychology, the work of Robert A. Emmons from the University of California and Michael E. McCullough from the University of Miami has opened a new horizon in understanding gratitude. They conducted research where participants were asked to write a few sentences each week based on predetermined themes. One group focused on things they were grateful for during the week, another group recorded distressing events, and the final group wrote about events, both positive and negative, that had affected them. Results after 10 weeks showed that the gratitude practice group was not only more optimistic and satisfied with their lives, but also exercised more regularly and sought medical care less often compared to the other groups. CNN reported another study conducted on over 1,000 high school students showing that practicing gratitude daily not only promotes a zest for life, but also enhances feelings of happiness and satisfaction in life. Another study also found a link between gratitude and a reduced risk of suicide among college students. Although it's not possible to definitively state the cause and effect relationship, the majority of studies on this topic support the link between gratitude and a happier life. Gratitude encourages us to focus on what we have rather than what we lack. This is the key to unlocking a happier everyday life. When people feel grateful, life becomes more worth living and more beautiful. Stoic philosophers, with their disciplined lifestyle and emphasis on self-control, would undoubtedly agree with these findings. They always value recognizing and appreciating what life brings, no matter how small. In the practice of Stoicism, reflecting on gratitude is not just part of living a meaningful life, but also a way to strengthen inner resilience and develop a Stoic spirit. By applying the theories and research findings of Emmons and McCullough to daily life, we learn not only to appreciate what we have, but also to develop the ability to endure and overcome challenges. As taught by Stoicism, this proves that gratitude is not just an emotion, but also a way of life, a powerful tool that helps us face and overcome difficulties. Therefore, leave a comment practice gratitude below if you agree with us and turn every challenge into an opportunity for growth and self-improvement. Lesson number eight. Forge ahead, refrain from indulging. Marcus Aurelius emphasized the importance of steadfast determination and continuous progress in overcoming difficulties. By directing our attention to the benefits we already possess and maintaining a growth mindset, we can continue to advance and develop even when faced with challenges. In lesson number eight, let's delve deeper into how we can apply stoic principles to move forward strongly. Stay away from temptations and bad habits that cloud our spirit and efforts. Life is not without its temptations, from material pleasures to fleeting joys. These happiness traps can easily lead us astray, forgetting the true values and goals of life. But Marcus Aurelius has shown us through his writings in Meditations how a Roman emperor lived a simple life, focusing on duty and responsibility rather than indulging in material pleasures. We must remember that mental strength does not come about by chance. It requires patience, continuous training, and a soul that constantly moves forward, regardless of the challenges and temptations along the way. Each step we take needs to be guided by reason and conscious choice, staying away from instant desires and random emotional reactions. By continuing to progress with courage, we not only overcome challenges but also find true meaning and joy in life. It is not a battle against temptations, but a journey to become the best version of ourselves, a version that continually evolves, learns, and moves forward. Marcus Aurelius, through his lessons, is not just a model of mental strength, but also a beacon guiding us to continue making progress and staying away from temptations and bad habits. We can overcome any difficulty and aim for a life full of true meaning and happiness. Lesson number nine, guided by reason. Marcus Aurelius once emphasized the important role of rational and logical thinking in achieving overall happiness and overcoming adversity. He declared, the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. 
This reminder echoes through the centuries, highlighting the power of positive and rational thinking in forming the foundation for mental strength and resilience. In the journey to maintain mental strength and face challenges, Stoicism teaches us the most important lesson, to be guided by reason. When emotions flare up, it is reason that will be the lighthouse guiding us away from negative reactions, leading us to the shore of understanding and conscious action. Consider a specific illustrative example. Imagine you are facing a stressful situation at work when an important project does not progress as planned. The first natural reaction might be feelings of anger or disappointment. But following the lesson of being guided by reason, you would pause and calm yourself before reacting. Instead of blaming or becoming disheartened, you decide to rationally assess the situation, logically determine the next steps, and learn from the experience. This not only helps you effectively resolve the issue, but also protects us from the mental harm caused by negative emotions. When our minds are filled with calmness and logical thinking, we can overcome any challenge without losing our perseverance and mental strength. Lesson number nine is not just a lifestyle, but also a reminder of the undeniable value of maintaining reason. It teaches us that in any situation, we can still choose to face it with calmness and clarity. This is the key to maintaining mental strength, personal development, and moving forward strongly on the path of life. Lesson number 10. Cultivate humility and empathy. Humility and empathy are essential virtues for building inner strength and resilience. They help us develop stronger relationships, nurture an empathetic mindset, and achieve a higher self-awareness. In a journey where challenges and difficulties are inevitable, facing each experience with humility and compassion not only helps us overcome them, but also transforms them into a launching pad for personal growth. Humility opens the door to learning. It makes us realize that no matter how much we have achieved, there is still so much more to learn. Humility helps us recognize the truth that in this vast universe, we are just a small part. This doesn't make us feel inferior. On the contrary, it inspires a relentless desire to improve ourselves, learn from those around us, and every failure and mistake. Empathy, on the other hand, is the key to forming deep connections with others. When we strive to understand and feel the world through their eyes, we not only reduce judgment and criticism, but also open our hearts to accept and share the joys and sorrows of others. Empathy allows us to build meaningful relationships and create a strong community where support and understanding are fundamental. Incorporating humility and empathy into our daily lives not only brings us spiritual strength, but also inspires those around us. By listening sincerely, acknowledging our own mistakes, and putting ourselves in others' shoes, we can inspire others. Stoic philosophy teaches us not just how to endure hardship, but also how to live a meaningful life where humility and empathy are among the most important lessons. By applying these virtues in our daily lives, we not only enhance our inner strength, but also contribute to building a society where everyone is understood and valued. As we come to the final lines of this journey, a journey through 10 painful but immensely valuable lessons on maintaining mental strength through stoicism, we seek not only inner strength, but also learn to share and spread it. These 10 lessons are precious building blocks that help you construct a resilient soul, daring to face and overcome all of life's challenges. Remember, mental strength is not something you are born with, but is forged over time through each challenge and lesson you experience. Now it is time to apply these lessons to your daily life, turning them into an endless source of strength that helps you navigate through all storms. If you feel ready to face and conquer any challenge, leave a comment below this video with the phrase, I dare. This is not just a challenge to yourself, but also an expression of determination and resilience in the face of adversity. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video with your loved ones, and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any valuable lessons on mental strength and stoicism. Stay tuned for the next videos at the end of this one, so you don't miss out on the journey of self-improvement through stoic philosophy. Remember, within every challenge lies the opportunity to become stronger. Be brave in facing and conquering them. See you in the next videos.
wishing you resilience and success on your journey.